Guide to Installing and Debugging Fusion Software First, open the installation package. Choose the installation path for the D drive. The interface supports switching between Chinese and English. After selecting the installation path and language, click on Start Installation. Once the installation is complete, a prompt will appear to create shortcuts on the desktop and optimize the system. The system optimization step will clear all startup items. Depending on your preferences, you can choose to select the second option. After the software installation is complete, make sure to restart your computer. After the Fusion registration is completed, find the purple ML icon on the desktop and double-click it. Click on the cloud icon to display a box, which will connect your computer to the controlled end. Once the connection is established, a green display box will appear in the upper left corner. The buttons above the display box are used for function switching. The buttons below are for selecting the resolution of individual projectors. Choose the resolution that suits your needs. Since we are working with two projectors, select two orange squares, and then click on Start Debugging. The desktop will display a debugging background. Switch to the second interface, and a grid will appear. You need to observe the number of fusion bands overlapping between the two projectors. The following options are used to adjust the number of fusion bands for the vertical projector alignment. The options below are used to adjust the fusion band's vertical alignment. The sliding button can hide one of the fusion screens. During debugging, ensure that the blue grids of both projectors completely overlap. Move on to the next setting interface. In this interface, you can choose the anchor point for Fusion software and adjust the speed. And now, you need to use keyboard controls. The keyboard's up, down, left, and right keys can be used to drag the screen's position for geometric adjustments. W, A, S, D are used to control the positions of the four points on the Fusion grid. Start by selecting the top left corner point for adjustment. Press D to calibrate the top right point. Proceed with these operations swiftly. On the window side, there are shortcuts available. You can directly switch between debugging windows using these shortcuts. During the debugging process, if you notice that the grid alignment is not horizontal after alignment, you can adjust it by increasing the number of control points. This will align the entire grid. Next, Check the preview box to see the projection preview. After alignment, you need to adjust the color difference in the fusion bands. Above, you can adjust the overall color of the image. You can also select RGB sync to fine tune the color difference in the fusion bands. Minor adjustments to the default values should suffice. Now, move on to the next interface. Check the option for startup on boot. Set the volume to approximately 50%. Select the NVIDIA output mode because we are using an NVIDIA professional graphics card. If you have a gaming card or an card, Choose Datum. Then, select the internal output mode. This completes the desktop Fusion setup. Finally, click on Save and Backup Grid Data. The debugging process concludes here. Switch the background to observe the effect.
the projected image will transform into a seamless large desktop. Now, let's discuss data backup. Click on the button in the upper right corner to backup grid data. Locate the folder labeled bins inside the Fusion software. Backup the two files with the extensions CFG and DAT. This operation is essential to backup grid data, debugging data, and registration codes. 